गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम यू ऑल टू क्लास सिक्स एंड कंग्रेचुलेशन ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर परफॉर्मिंग वेल इन फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड चिल्ड्रेन एज यू ऑल नो आर होल कंट्री इज फाइटिंग नाउ डे इज विद द पैंडमिक कोविड नाइनटीन सो वॉट इज योर फर्स्ट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ओवर हियर योर फर्स्ट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इज टू बी सेफ कीप योर सेल्फ सेफ एंड कीप योर फैमिली ऑल्सो सेफ you all i know you all are spending a good time with your family members nowadays but you have to keep one more thing in mind you also have to give certain hours for your studies to maintain the continuity and this is very important for you in this period of time so we are going to start with the studies today onwards with the online lessons thank you good afternoon children this is your first biology class biology this is a new subject which you people are going to learn new i am saying though not completely new you have studied some part of it you have studied about biology also in your science up till now up till fifth standard but now biology will be a completely new subject right the exam will be taken separately biology what do you understand by the word biology first we have to understand it biology it is made up of two words that is bio and logy bio means children life right bio means life and logy means the study of so basically we can say that biology is the study of life the study of living things the study of living organisms clear so we should be very much clear with the subject first of all what we are studying and what all things we are going to study in that so i hope you all are clear as to what is biology so the first chapter that is coming in the syllabus of this biology of 6th standard is the leaf now in this chapter we are going to read about the leaf you might have seen various types of leaves of various shapes of various sizes right you already know that most of the leaves they are seen around us they are green in color leaves are also known as the kitchen of the plant right because the process of photosynthesis takes place in the leaves you people have studied about all these things before but now in this chapter we are going to study something different about the leaves what all topics we are going to cover during this chapter are first is external structure or the parts of a leaf in detail we are going to study then second thing kinds of leaves what all kinds of leaves are present around us third is a type of venation now what is venation that we are going to discuss in detail functions of a leaf clear modifications insectivorous plants what are insectivorous plants and what is the need for the modification along with an example we are going to study what is vegetative propagation all these seven topics basically we are going to cover in this chapter now leaf as we all know is a part of a plant clear but we can broadly divide the parts of a plant into two major categories that is the root system and the shoot system clear the root system and the shoot system are the two main parts of a plant now what is root system and what is shoot system that we are going to read in detail now the first thing is the shoot the root system sorry the root system what is a root the underground part of a plant is known as a root clear the underground part of a plant is known as a root means the part which is below the ground which we cannot see it is the root and what are the main characteristics of roots the roots they always grow downwards into the soil clear they are away from the sunlight the third thing is they always grow towards the force of gravity clear 
they always grow towards the force of gravity so the roots what are the roots first of all the roots are the underground part of the plant the part of the plant which is under the ground which we cannot see it is the root it grows away from the sunlight it grows away from the sunlight it goes it grows towards the force of gravity means it grows downwards into the soil clear now the second thing and the second point is that each of the root it is having one thick main root now this thick main root it is known as the primary root now each of these primary root it it gives rise to a number of side branches these branches they are known as secondary roots these branches they are known as secondary roots now these secondary roots they also end up into a number of fine hair like projections number of fine hair like projections these projections they are known as root hairs they are known as root hairs these these projections over here these fine hair like projections they are known as root hairs okay now this is the primary root this one is the primary root okay now these one are the secondary roots which are arising from the primary root and here these are the fine hair like projections which are known as root hairs now this you can see the structure of a plant here you can see this is the root system this particular is a root system right this one here this is the root system from here up till here the underground portion of the plant and here from the flower up till here we are having this is shoot system clear now we can say that this particular portion highlighted one is the shoot portion of the plant and this one now this particular portion which i am going to highlight now this is the root portion of the plant i hope this is clear to you all now what are the functions of the root or first we are going to discuss what are the two main types of roots what are the two main types of roots the two main types of roots are first is fibrous root system and the second is tap root system now as you can see over here what is fibrous root system first fibrous means fibers means clusters the roots they are arising from the base of the stem roots they are arising from the base of the stem and they are of almost same thickness and they are arising in clusters clear they are arising in clusters they are arising in bunches from the base of the stem such type of root system is known as fibrous root system clear now this type of root system it is found in the monocot plants it is found in the monocot plants monocot plants the monocot plants are maize grass etc now what are monocot plants monocot plants means the plants which are having only single seed the plants which are having only one seed they are known as monocot plants and the plants which are having more than one seeds they are known as uh, that is two seeds they are known as di means two dicot plants so here you can see the difference between the tap root system and the fibrous root system now this one which i am going to highlight now this is tap root system tap root system here you can see the difference that one single thick main root is arising from the base of the stem clear you can see one single thick main root it is arising from the base of the stem and from this main root number of other branches they are coming out right so the thickness of the main root or the primary root is much more as compared to the other secondary roots so such type of root system it is known as tap root system now this tap root system it is found in the dicot plants dicot plants means the plants which are having 
two seeds and the example of the dicot plants are gram, pea, etc. Clear? Now we are going to discuss about the functions of the root system. What are the functions of the root system? The functions, the first function that you have been learning up till now of the roots it is, first it is to absorb water and minerals from the soil. Second thing, it also helps in the fixation of the plant in the soil. It helps the plant to get fixed in the soil. Clear? First it is to absorb water and minerals which are very much essential for the growth of the plant. Second, it helps the plant to get fixed inside the soil firmly. Third, what does the roots do? They bind the soil together. The roots, they help in binding the soil together. Means, pakad ke rakte hai mitti ko taki so that the soil does not get washed away by the water or does not get blown away by the wind. So, these are the three main functions of the root system. 